Island from Taipei on the island of Taiwan, the Republic of China, bringing you the 1988 Miss Universe pageant. According to the Chinese calendar, this is the year of the dragon. In Chinese legend, the dragon symbolizes strength and good fortune. Behind me, our troop of players is creating a dragon. We now present Beauty and the Beast. Here are all of the contestants for Miss Universe 1988, dressed in their beautiful Chi Pao dresses from Long Lines Design. The universe is going to get smaller now because we are about to narrow the field to our 10 semi-finalists. I'm now going to go over and pick up the computer printout with those names. Now all of you at home remember that the score you'll see for each of our 10 semi-finalists is the average composite score combining all of the three preliminary competitions. And no one here in our Taipei audience will see the scores. Those scores will only be seen by you at home. Good luck to all of these ladies. Remember, the names will be called in no particular order. And here they are. Miss Hong Kong! <laughs> Miss Dominican Republic! They'll be happy tonight in Mexico, Miss Mexico. <laughs> Say hello to Miss USA. Fifth semi-finalist is Miss Japan. Five chances left, and one of them goes to Miss Thailand. Position number seven is taken by Miss Korea. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Colombia. The ninth semi-finalist is Miss Norway. <laughs> One more of these young ladies has a chance to be Miss Universe this year, and she is Miss Venezuela. just told you the name of the new Miss Universe, but which name was it? And what happens to the scores you've been seeing so far? Well, Tracy can answer at least one of those questions for you now. Thanks, Alan. I can help with the scoring question. Now, all of those preliminary scores will be discarded, and each of the ten semi-finalists will start even in the scoring. Now comes some real fun. It's your turn to match your wits with our judges, because everything they see and hear from now on, you will see and hear too.